Hello everyone, let's learn about the cost flow in a manufacturing business which produces envelopes. We will also learn about how to differentiate between classifications of cost. To produce an envelope, one needs pieces of paper and glue. They need to take the piece of paper, fold it in a certain way and apply glue on certain parts of the paper. When the proper instructions are followed, we will end up with a finished product, an envelope that we are ready to sell. These three steps are the three stages of production. In a manufacturing business we have three inventory accounts, raw materials, work in process and finished goods. Raw materials are all the materials we will need in the factory. Work in process represents all the products that are in process, partly finished or just started. Finally, finished goods are ready to be sold. As you can see, each inventory account is tightly connected to the stages of production. I want you to concentrate on the work in process account. In order to start producing the envelope, we need the paper and the glue. These are the materials that are directly included in the production. We call them direct materials. We will also need these two workers to fold the paper and apply the glue correctly. They are directly involved into the production and therefore we call them direct labor. Finally, we will need to include manufacturing overhead. This is the factory space over your head, the electricity and so on. Manufacturing overhead will not be covered in this lesson. You just need to know that we need it in order to start the production. In the manufacturing overhead we include the janitor, who is in direct labor, who cleans the factory space so we can work. He will also need a broom in order to clean the indirect material. The section named other includes the electricity, the factory space you're renting and so on. The amount of manufacturing overhead we apply to the work in process account is an estimate. You will see in later lessons why. You need to know how to differentiate between product costs and period costs. Product costs are the ones that are associated with the production, like direct materials, direct labor and manufacturing overhead. Period costs are the selling expenses your company will incur or if you have decided to pay for an advertising to be made for your products. These are expensed directly on the income statement. Another distinction you need to make is between fixed costs and variable costs. Fixed costs are always constant, like renting out the factory or the supervisor's salary. Variable costs are those that vary with the level of activity, like direct materials and direct labor. The more units are produced, the higher the cost of both materials and labor. This is the cost formula. It is simple algebraic equation. The total cost equals fixed costs plus units produced times the variable cost per unit. Finally, peace of mind. I hope you understood. If you didn't, you always have this button, which is pause, and this one, which is play. Play the video as many times as you need. I won't mind at all.